Hey guys, Brittany here. Welcome back to Gold Rush the Game. Here we are for part number 12, I think we're up to. Um, getting through. I'm still recording way ahead of you guys of viewing at the moment due to the fact that um, I'm still waiting on my internet. So I do apologise um, if I don't reply to your comments and stuff before, you know, in a previous episode because of my whole internet situation. But fingers crossed to be there. We'll be getting it my internet fixed soon, just waiting on the, the modem and stuff to arrive and having a few dramas with the internet provider. Um, yeah, let's just say what they're doing is quite stupid, I think. Um, they decided to send my modem to me, which is good, but because I wasn't home, because I was at work, they uh, couldn't deliver it and then decided to just take it back, send it back, send it back to their depot or whatever it may be. And, um, yeah, let's just say that um, it's not a very good way to do business, I don't think. I don't know how I'm going to get this undone. Six, seven, there you go. Unscrew. So, yeah, they've um, sent it to me because I wasn't home because I was at work. They have turned around and sent it back to the warehouse, and now they're going to resend it to me. But what happens if they, you know, resend it to me this time, and I'm at work again, which is highly likely. They'll probably send it straight back to the warehouse again. And then I'll um, make a phone call and tell them to jam it. And I'll go somewhere else, I guess. So yeah, it's quite frustrating for me and for you guys, no doubt. But um, hopefully... Hopefully I'll have the internet back soon and um, we'll get... You know, recording and uploading as per normal. So we had an issue with our hose there. Make a tight separator hose. Um get out of here. I did buy a reinforced one so it won't break again. This makes it a lot easier. Um, I've got eight buckets sitting here ready to be washed through the wash plant, uh, or through the magnetite separator and um, our gold collection machine thing. I can never remember what it's called. Um, and I think, yeah, we've got a whole heap of stuff here. We've got all these to clean out. We've got all these mats to clean out. So we've got plenty more Plenty more buckets to get, so I brought you guys back a little bit early just so we could do the whole clean out sort of thing. Put these, which will be now 16 buckets, through magnetite separator and all that sort of stuff, and hopefully bring in plenty more money. Get us up above that level of being able to buy a bulldozer. Hopefully, maybe even close to paying off our loan. Um, yeah, buying a bulldozer and sort of figuring out um, where we're going to dig to next. Um, I've got a little bit of an area done up here, which I'll show you guys the gold map, I think. I think I'm digging like just through here, so this is going to be our last little patch here, and then I might just go back all this way because there's a good amount of gold in here and all through here. And there's a lot of other places where there isn't a great deal of gold, so I don't see the point in digging you know, somewhere where there's not a huge amount of gold. Come on. This is frustrating, this thing. So yeah, there's no point in us digging for no reason. Might as well find somewhere that's got a decent amount of gold in it. And actually be digging there for a reason to try and, you know, get us through to our, our next claim, hopefully. Um, oh, God damn. You guys... um. Let me know what claim you think we should go to next. Should we move up to the next claim? Should we try and get to the final claim as quick as possible? Um, you know, you guys let me know what you think. And we'll see what we can do. Depends on how long we want to stay here for, I suppose. But probably we'll have to transport all, all this equipment to the new claim. And then be able to... Put it all in so we can go straight to tier 3. Or should we, you know, hang here for a little bit longer and try and get tier 4, tier 5 set up first? Um, you guys, as I said, you guys let me know what you think. I'll drop this down somewhere. There we go. Alright, let's grab these guys out of here. I would like to get the Nuggetator too. That's probably, you know, one of the next things I'd like to get. Um, I think that'll be 
Well, that'll be something good that we can get, so we can just wash these mats and put them straight back in without having to sort of dunk it into the bucket, which we're, which we're having to do now. So I think that'll be sort of the way to go. Let me just throw all these buckets up here for now. Because this is quite, um, yeah, it's quite um, frustrating and time consuming, this whole bucket process. Especially when, Jesus, especially when that happens. It's just like, you know, never ending face palm moments. I'll put him there, and oh, for God's sakes. Alright, take number three. No more face palms. There we go. Get this bucket filled. Throw it over towards the truck, and then we can half fill that next bucket. Put these grates back on. Hopefully, have no more face palm moments. All right, there we go. So we can pick up one of these grates. We can go to the top. I'm not going to take those. Worry about those ones yet. Get these ones off. There we go. Can we reach? No. Should jump down and do that. Alright, so we'll throw those guys on. Um, this bucket was our full bucket, so let's throw that guy in. Might as well just jump from here to there. That way I don't happen to pick up one of those grates or something. Like we have already. So we seem to be doing pretty well. We should have been in a pretty good um, gold area. So we've already got 100 and 102.5 ounces. I think I did get a couple of um, nuggets. You guys have told me to put nuggets back on. So nuggets are back on. So I found a couple of decent sized nuggets. We're down a little bit on cash as you can see because we paid our loan twice I think and we've had to give old Arnold some gold as well so we definitely down on where we should be with gold but we're gonna get there eventually oh, there we go throw those guys on see so, yeah, we could either oh missed we could either um, move to another claim or we could buy this claim off old Arnold and stay here till we've completely dug it out or something like that. You guys sort of need to let me know what you think we should be doing. Um, I think a truck should be good with fuel. I'm going to have to fill this trailer back up because I know we're going to have to go back down and fill up our, our digger. I'm pretty sure our digger's just about out of fuel. This shouldn't take too long, hopefully. Not too long, I suppose. Let's grab um, this hose. Don't need this guy anymore. We could throw him in there with a couple of other broken parts. I think, is that one of our cables? Oh, that's our fuel hose, that's right. That we snapped. Uh, the mobile wash plant thing. I was going to take these both these guys over here and sell them too. And get rid of them, but... There's no big rush, I don't think. I was planning on keeping one of them, I guess. Just in case, but... I don't know. We could at least sell one, I guess, and then keep the other one. You guys let me know, should we keep one, sell one, sell both? I don't know. So hopefully um, you guys can sort of hear me pretty well and that sort of stuff. I've still been trying to work out our whole sound situation. I've now moved house as you guys should be well aware of. Um, and I'm also now, my gaming setup is in my garage so I don't have a proper room. I'm just sitting in a garage recording and um, hopefully not too much echoing and all that sort of stuff. Um, eventually I'm gonna have to get my little my little um, get down on the ground. My little portable aircon going which is sitting next to me but I haven't had to use it yet. It's getting quite warm now. It's springtime here um, in Australia so it's gonna start to get quite hot. I'm hoping that doesn't affect us as well. Um, I know with a previous microphone that I've attempted to use um, a Blue Yeti which is a pretty good quality microphone, but I couldn't get it to block out that background noise of my portable aircon. So I'm hoping 
uh, my new headset that I purchased, which I've been using for a little while with Windows 10 now. Um, I can manage to get it to work well, and you guys can't hear the aircon going in the background because summertime it's going to be, you know, 40 degree days, 40 degree Celsius days, and um, extremely bloody hot sitting in a garage. So yeah, I guess we'll have to we'll have to wait and see. All right, let's go and turn on this water water pump over here, the electric water pump. Go small water pump. Come, whoop, come through here. Turn this guy on. It's full of juice. It's the main thing. So they should all be going now. All right, start to wash some gold, separate some gold, wash some gold, all that sort of stuff. Don't think it's got much magnetite in it. Uh, 87 ounces, so not great, but not bad, I suppose. So we started off with 100 ounces, technically, pretty much. We'll see how we go. Alright, there we go. 87.88 ounces of magnetite, so similar buckets. I'm hoping to get a full bucket of magnetite here so we can upgrade a little bit at a blacksmith. As long as we don't have a bug where that disappears, which it has before, so fingers crossed we don't have those issues. 87, 86, so pretty even. Again, one of these buckets is going to be um, one of the gold nugget buckets, which won't have any magnetite at all, but... That one. Alright, there we go. Throw that back in. Still got 70... That's processing really slow, actually. Which isn't a bad thing. At least we're not going to keep up with it. 178, that's pretty good, so that's going to be our mats, I think, one of our mats. Up to really 150 ounces already. Maybe 7.89, so I guess that's probably... One of the um, duplex jigs as well, and these two now should be the mats. Again, I can't remember which. I can't remember which way I put these in. Oh, bit of lag. 177. So that's one of the the mats, I assume as well. I think the mats would get more than the duplex jig would. All right, so that's that whole clean out of this clean out and then I have the previous clean out which is sitting here which we'll put in after this one still digging the same area of the claim down that bottom corner so 179 ounces of magnetite in that one as well actually that's got to go back doesn't it alright done let's work on these guys I want to let that finish then we can compare. Should be the pretty well the same because they're both digging in both like the same area pretty much. All right, chuck that into, oop, into there. Throw that into there. We'll probably throw this one in the truck. Uh, Eighty-eight point two seven ounces for that last clean out. So we'll throw this one in and see how this one goes. That was the nugget one, that one, so throw that into there, we'll get rid of these two buckets. Oop. So 88 ounces was our last clean up. Hopefully this one's gonna be Well that was 
zero magnetite as well. Okay, that's interesting. I don't think I've processed these yet. So I wonder why there's two that are zero. It's a little bit strange. Zero again. Unless I have processed these. I didn't think I did, but I mean, I may have processed them just ready to throw them straight in. Oop. Go and get a bucket back, I suppose. I'd say I probably have. It's not going to do anything. So if this one's zero, then I must have processed them all before. So I cannot remember. Yep, so I did. So I can't remember what I, I did and didn't do. It was last week before I went away for work that I recorded, so... Not 100% sure what I did actually do, but by the looks of it, I did process them all. So 58% of magnetite, which isn't too bad. Um, I want to try and get it at the back there. So we know where it is, we can take that to town with us. Alright, throw another bucket in. We're going to have a huge amount of gold, which is going to be awesome. So once this is done, we'll go down and start filling our digger. And we can head to town. Drop our magnetite, um, drop our magnetite off on the way, and then hopefully start bringing in some pretty good funds. I don't know how much gold we should leave in our hands to give to old Arnold, or whether we should just smelt the whole lot down. I don't know. All right, I guess we'll just sit here and wait for this guy, and. Um, See what happens, I suppose. Take a quick screenshot of these guys working away. Probably should have took a screenshot with all the buckets on the ground, but... It's one thing I've been forgetting a lot of. Just getting bloody screenshots and stuff. Alright, 10%. I think we got a huge amount of gold. 280 ounces, that's 100 and... 80 ounces, so 88 and 91, so pretty similar. We've got 180 ounces. That is pretty good, that's pretty much a day's work. Give or take, I suppose. Alright, let's, let's head down to where the digger is. I'll show you guys the big hole in the ground again. Um... And as I said, I want to sort of just, where the digger is now, work back, sort of behind us. Alright, let's stop here somewhere. Hopefully that's close enough, because I want to be able to... God damn you. I want to be able to fuel it up. Yep, there we go, and drop this off. And leave the trailer behind so we can head to town. But you can see there's a huge hole here now, so I'm going to dig to where that square is highlighted over there. Dig out that little section there, and then just start working our way back this way. So I've moved the lighting plant to a better position, but... There he is. Yeah, pretty massive hole in the ground. Now all this down here I can't quite reach, so... I do want to get the dozer in and push all this dirt down towards the digger, so we can hopefully try and pick it all up, but... There's probably going to be some stuff left behind that we can't um, can't quite reach. So we take another quick look at the gold map. You can see it's telling me there that there's still a decent amount of gold down in there, but we sort of can't reach it, so... Right, we're sort of aiming for there, aren't we? Yeah, that one, they're still, they're still saying there's gold here too, but I can't see any. There's a like very minimal amount, so there must still be some sort of sitting just below the surface there. Also want to get the, the dozer back in and try and level out another pad to sort of work our way back again. Oops. And I've got to come through and pick up all these hoses, reel them all up, throw them all in the shed, get them all out of the way for when winter does come. I know we're 
quite a ways away from winter yet, but uh, we need to do that so we don't end up um, destroying all those hoses and have to sell them and buy new ones again. I don't think we can buy reinforced hoses, but so long term goal would be to buy everything we can reinforce for every bit of equipment um, because that will mean that our durability never gets worse or anything. Um, we never have run out of durability, I suppose. I think that's how it works. Um, and just, you know, keep digging, keep making some money and get rich. 4,000. 4,000 ounces of magnetite. So we're going to have enough for maybe one upgrade. I'd like to reduce our gold losses, I suppose. Um, And maybe the price, I don't know, I think one is over like 2700 or something maybe for one of those upgrades. So we still still need a bit more magnetite before we can finalize the upgrades and stuff. Big water pump filter, 24% off, duplex jig available. I didn't see how much, but we've already brought two of those now. So really don't need to worry about it. As I said, the Nuggetator is probably the next thing the next thing I want to buy is just so we can use that to you know wash our mats and that sort of stuff all right so Jesus that is loud sometimes here at the blacksmith let's go in and say good day and see what we can upgrade so we've done what have we done we've done The amount increased, gold losses we haven't done yet, and the cost. So we could probably get gold losses done, and the cost, or the time. I think the cost is probably the best thing to do. So let's upgrade that. So now we can go smelt. So we can do a 80 ounce bar and you lose 4 ounces. That's pretty good, 4 grand. Right, let's smelt that. And we don't have enough for another bar, so what I'll do is I'll get all this stuff. I'll get this one smelted, I'll take it down and I'll sell it. To get some more money, come back and smelt the rest and um, bring you guys back when we're done. Right, hey guys, we're back. So I've done um, all the the gold bars. We've got three in the back of the truck, which you might be able to see. Three there. Um, the other one has been sold. About $90,000 worth. So we should get... Um, should be close to three hundred thousand dollars, I think. Roughly, maybe. Probably even higher than that. So ninety thousand for each bar, and then forty-four for the last one. So three hundred and ten thousand. We still owe six hundred seventy-nine thousand. So we haven't got enough to pay that off yet. Um, minus the smelting costs, which would be about sixteen thousand. So we show about three hundred twenty-six grand. So that's not too bad. Um, obviously minus the 7 gram we already had so 320 so that's pretty good digging at this point in time um, might quickly stop off into here we'll have a look at this Nuggetator which should be here somewhere there we go so the gold Nuggetator 24,000 um, it takes yellow and a hose so we could probably um, have that somewhere down yeah somewhere down by the duplex jigs I suppose um, and just move the power and that across I don't think there's anything else that we need at this point in time um, we are going to need the mobile water tank and probably maybe the electric water pump or something as well um, Either that we're going to have to buy that big tower for 150 grand because I know summertime we are going to end up um, having a little lake, a little river that runs beside the claim. It will dry out. So, actually, we need a bucket, um, an extra bucket. Pardon me. So, we will um, actually need to get some water from somewhere else. So, yeah, I think, I think maybe. 
that water tank and possibly the big water pump is what we're going to need as well so we'll have to wait and see I suppose all right let's see if we can get this back to the claim without dying but um plenty of money on us we do have enough money to buy the bulldozer now but but we do have to pay um, our loan back tonight which is fifty thousand or fifty or sixty thousand dollars I think um, also, old Arnold will take his share. Um, if I don't get any digging done off camera tonight and find some decent sized nuggets, um, he's going to take cash. So, yeah, we really need to hopefully get some digging done, find some nuggets, and have old Arnold not take too much away from us. But we'll have to wait and see, I suppose. And um, come back next episode and let you guys know what sort of what's going on. So, we'll take this guy back. Gonna have to throw one of these buckets back into the magnetite separator. Um, the rest of the buckets can go down where we need them. So duplex jigs. Um, actually, we probably didn't need to buy a bucket for the mats because we used to use three for mats. Now to wash all those mats into one bucket, which is a much better thing. So probably didn't need to buy an extra bucket, but you can never have too many buckets, I suppose. Alright, so we'll pull up here, jump out, throw one of these buckets back into here. There we go. So they got the two. Take this guy back down. Drop off the gold nuggetator. So I think if we stick this thing. Where are we going? Some water and stuff will come in this way. So if we sort of just stick this guy I don't know, there, we should be able to grab the power, water, throw it into here. But we're going to have to turn everything off because we can't have water running down through here um, while the grills aren't there because it'll wash the gold out of the mats. So. We're still gonna have to do a bit of running up and down to get that to happen, but the only other option is to put that inside the tent somewhere um, and have to run the mats to and from, which will be a little bit annoying. But all right, let's throw. Need more of a walkway to get to here. Throw one of these buckets into here, and we need another one. Ooh, come on, we need another one up there as well. Let's turn our flashlight on so we can see. So we need one bucket because we're going to do probably like a double clean up again. There's our second one for there, and we've got four buckets into there. We've got one in the nugget tater, so we're going to need another bucket for the nugget tater, and we're going to need another two buckets for each duplex jig. I think eventually we could hire someone who will actually change out the buckets and all that sort of stuff without us having to do it ourselves so eventually all right so we're good to go good to start digging pretty much but um let's quickly head back to the tent if I can get up this hill um, and check and see who wants to work for us because we may have people that are willing to help and can help properly. Alright, shut this guy down. Run inside, check our computer. Workers are waiting. Nobody. Nobody wants to work for us at all. So I do want to get this eventually. Um, that and that as well. I want to get unlock all of that, but that's not um, important at the moment. But Rightio guys, what I'll do is I'll end the episode here and um, I'll do a little bit of digging off camera see what I can get done um, try and fill this guy up at least twice more maybe even three times depending on the amount of buckets we have and do another big clean up tomorrow so see how we go if you guys enjoyed this one as always smash that like button leave a comment let me know what you think of the series so far and if you want to see it continue if you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet guys please do so it's been Bruno thanks for watching see you again soon